We're getting together today to consider some good old do-it-yourself work on the homestead. With the cool breezes upon us, we all want to shut off the air conditioning and open the windows to savor the last vestiges of fall. But opening those windows find us confronted with window screens that have seen better days and our fresh breezes are accompanied by flying critters too numerous to count. Now since you searched and found this video, I can tell you are a venturous soul destined to save a buck and bring those screens back to their original condition. So let's get to it. Now I have a normal screen that was brought in for repair. The main parts are the aluminum frame, plastic corners, fiberglass material that is charcoal, and the spline to hold the screen in the frame. You might notice the damage to the screen and that the frame is bent and dirty. To resurrect this project, I require the following material and tools. Cleaning supplies, weights to hold down the fabric during screening, pliers, box cutter, mallet, scissors, frame spreaders, spline remover, screwdriver, tape measure, spline roller, fiberglass material, and spline. All right, we are ready to confront the patient. First, we need to remove the spline. Pay attention to how the spline is removed. Does it come out easily, as if too small, or is it hard, as if too large? Spline sizes can be altered to resolve these issues. Now just go ahead and remove the remainder of the spline. Once completed, you can remove the fiberglass material. Next, we inspect the frame and corners for any damage. Any defect that will not allow the frame to be square must be corrected. This is the greatest mistake that a do-it-yourselfer makes, not bringing the frame back to square and maintaining the square through installing the spline. Next, we look to see if the frame is a little convex toward the center of the frame sides. This attribute allows us to pull the screen tight while installing the spline and gives the screen a tight look that does not bend the frame sides. Next, we check that the corners are tight in the frame. If the corners are loose and come out easily, use the pliers to crimp the frame tighter around the corner piece. Now the frame is cleaned to remove any residue. Now we are ready to rescreen. You need a flat work area that is larger than the screen you are working on. We now position the frame with the spline groove up. Measure the frame width at both corners as this is the dimension that the finished frame must be. Next, we're going to install frame spreaders across the longest dimension of the frame. When we do this, we also need to check our measurements to see they're adjusted properly. The more frame spreaders you use will ensure that the frame maintains its squareness. All right, now we're gonna cut a piece of screen material an inch or two larger than the screen frame. Use weights to secure the two corners opposite of where you are starting to install the spline. Okay, we're gonna start at one corner and install about an inch of the spline using a screwdriver. We 
what you want to do is be gentle and press the spline down toward the back of the spline away from the window opening. Stop and give a light pull on the spline. If it moves, it is too small. If it is too hard to press into the groove, it is too large. Go with a smaller size. Okay, once the spline size is determined, hold the spline taut along the groove and use a spline roller to press it into the frame. Once you come to a corner, you must pull the material tight. When you reach the opposite side of the frame, push the frame against the center spreader and hold in place with one of the weights. When you come to the end, cut the spline off and force it down into the groove. Now that we have the spline inserted, we need to check along the, the spline for places where it is bubbled. These places need the spline pulled up, material tightened, and reinserted. For these areas, you can use the spine removal tool. Alright, now once all material is flat and acceptable, you want to remeasure the frame and compare it to your earlier calculations. Widthwise, 21 and 13 sixteenths, exactly. Lengthwise, 36 and 3 eighths. So it's well within the variance. If you had variances of 1 sixteenth or 1 eighth of an inch, they are acceptable. After this point, you can remove the frame spreaders. When you are pleased with the results, take a box cutter and run it along the back side of the spline, trimming off the excess material. Be careful, as it is easy to jump out of the groove and cut your material. Congratulations, you have completed your window project. But now, let's think about that screen door.